Hello everybody, it's me again and today we're gonna do a different kind of video. Today it's not gonna be a review of a figure or you know something like that. It's gonna be different. It's a, kinda like a review and kinda like an overview of you know a trilogy I really like. Well, the Gamera Heisei trilogy. I got them on DVD just to show it to you. You already know this of my Gamera 3 review. Um, my Gamera 3 figure review. I showed the Revenge of Eris DVD. Well, here's the whole collection. Well, the whole movies. Here's Gamera, Gal Guardian of the Universe. We have Gamera 2, Attack of the Legion. I always thought it was Attack of Legion, but apparently they call it Attack of the Legion. Hmm. And the best of them all, Gamera 3, Revenge of Eris. This is like the definitive monster movie I can think of, besides the original Godzilla. So yeah, all these three movies are great. Even Attack of Legion, which lacks some parts, like it has good action, but the characters are likable, but not as memorable as like in the first movie or in the, the third movie. But overall, so this, these DVDs, each movie, huh, you can see me, hello, and each of these costs like 10 euros, and I thought, hey, this is great, I mean, I live in Europe, I don't see many, you know, I haven't seen many Godzilla or Kaiju DVDs, well, I've seen some, but they're just not that appealing to me, like, there's some, like, parodies or something, and Godzilla ones are not that interesting. Mainly because Classic Media does better Godzilla DVDs than, you know, the ones made in Europe. But, you know, I, I found these movies, I'm like, wow, Gamera. I, I bought the first film, and it was great, it was like, wow. And I watched, I bought the second one, actually, I bought the third one for second, but, you know, I didn't watch it first, I watched Gamera Attack of the Legion, and after that I watched Gamera Revenge of Eris. So yeah, all these movies are great. And the DVDs, the, DV the movies themselves are great. The DVD is both very good and very bad. Let's go to why it is good first. It is, and that's also a bad thing. It is in Japanese with German subtitles. The German subtitles to what they're saying in Japanese, at least not word by word, but mostly what they're trying to say, I suppose, is translated well into German. And of course, German audio. Here's the problem though, there's no English. So apparently this is something exclusive to people, not just you know because of the region coding bullshit, but also exclusive to people who know Japanese or German, so yeah. And another thing lacking about this movie, or these DVDs, is they lie to you. It says, yeah, Sprachen, and the languages, German and Jap Japanese. One thing cool is the sound is Dolby Digital 5.1 and 2.0 for both um, both languages. And of course it says how long the movie is, even though it sort of sucks. It says 92 minutes. It should be just like um, an hour and like 32 minutes, not just 92 minutes. It sounds stupid. The, build, the picture format, blah blah blah, and of course the region bullshit. But here's the biggest bullshit of them all. The, it says extras. There's a trailer. I look through this DVD. All it, all it has is the menu, and well, all, in all three of them, there's just the menu, and the, there's it just appears the menu. You have start movie. You can like, choose your language and what subtitles there is, and chapters. And that's all there is. There's no freaking trailer. So this is a fucking lie. And this is like goes for all three movies. Like all three have the, almost the same thing, like it's Japanese with German subtitles or just German and you know they lack what they promise. Trailer! It's bullshit. Oh well. And the other day I was in Müller, don't ask, it's a long story. And I saw this film, I, I saw this film again, but this one, this one, this version of this film was different. And I'll show you why. It is a three disc limited edition special edition or limited special edition whatever and this is way better than this 
like this is your standard DVD version good and this is like a three disc limited edition version okay I admit it was a little expensive like 25 euros well let's be honest considering what it said in the back it was worth it it has special features the making of the third movie which is odd because this is the first movie it has a teaser trailer TV, uh, TV special spots and also these other trailers and also has like this trailer for this weird camera game that came up on the PlayStation it's really weird and it has a, 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 a 24 pages long booklet and I'll show it all to you but first let's take a look at the others too yes I was crazy enough to get the same movies on 3 disc limited edition and you know what this isn't just you know the movie and some special features this is I'll show it to you we have the movie on DVD here we have the awesome booklet and oh what's this it's the movie on blu-ray and I tell you that quality is fucking awesome like when, the, when there's like the human characters and stuff then the quality is just good and okay but when there are the monsters there it looks amazing the suits look so freaking awesome and of course here you have your special bonus DVD so yeah and I'm just gonna show the booklet right now it has the booklet um, I'm not really good with you know knowing the quality of booklets but my mom's boyfriend he told me the quality of this booklet is really good of well, all these booklets because usually when it's booklet made like this the text is sometimes a little blurry or something and of course all of this is in German so it's impossible for you to read it like stop the video and read it it's just impossible unless you speak German of course here's just an overview of the story and you know after that you have like some this is odd why is there this is Gamera 1 why are they showing a photo of Gamera 2 this doesn't make any sense at all and you know I thought you'd be like this is like showing it to be continued this is what happens in the next film but no it's like in the middle of the first still like explain the plot of the first film and it like continues like in the final battle against Gaios it's weird and of course here are the human characters they're all likable and memorable and of course here we have Susuke Kaneko he is the director and we have Shinji Higushi I'm really bad at pronouncing this so he got I think he did like a few Godzilla films or I think yeah he did something for Godzilla and he's also the guy who made the effects of course for this movie and um, most recently got GMK and Kill Bill I haven't watched that film but it sort of seems interesting and you also have you know some other awesome pictures and you know here's the dude who wrote the script so yeah and you have like a little overview that says here and it even shows like this is like pure advertising it shows all three of them here like it's telling you you have to buy this you know why because they're like here it says here there only exists like 2,000 copies of this so in like years to come this will be a really a big treasures item collectors item I'm already show you this one I might as well show you the one of the next next few ones here we have Gamera 2 attack of the legion by the way I hate this cover you know why oh, actually I hate both well I like the cover itself is good it's just that this is the Gamera from Gamera 3 and here too seriously Gamera only looks like this in the third movie why do you put him in the cover of the first and second movie like that? And it doesn't even make sense also because, you know, here you have the Gamera from the first movie. Why is he different in the back cover than in the front cover? This just blows my mind. Oh well. Another problem I have with this m cover is that it makes you think that the Legion is not, you know, this creature, but the Legion is like you know, a, a big legion of guiles or something, because that's the way it looks like. I mean, if you have Gamera, Attack of the Legion, you have Gamera and a few guiles or something, you'd be like, ah, oh, it's Gamera fighting against a legion of guiles. That never happens in a film, because guiles is not an important part of this film. So why even put him on the cover? It doesn't make any sense at all. 
and we have also the movie on DVD. I love this artwork. It looks so awesome. I'd order a poster of this if it was possible. Actually, it is possible. Just go to Amazon and you can order it. Ha! <laughs> Here you also have all the credits. Camera. Him flying. And here you have him fighting Legion. I met Legion's pretty awesome. Even if the monster itself really isn't evil, it's just trying to survive. Unlike Gaius, I think. Gaius always seemed more evil than Legion for some reason. Even though Legion was the one that caused more panic in the whole world because of, you know, what happened in Japan. Like, because of Legion, Sendai blew up. Speaking of which, that's odd. In this movie, Sendai, spoilers, blows up and it's sort of foreshadowing to I know this is really offensive what I'm saying but it's sort of similar just saying sort of similar to what happened in Japan's earthquake and I think it was like last year or 2010 whatever um, it's similar to that okay Sendai's damage wasn't as big in real life as you know this movie because this movie's fiction but it's sort of disturbing to think of in this movie Sendai blows up and in real life there's sort of some damage in Japan, you know, because of the earthquake. So yeah, I just wanted to say that. It's just a really disturbing connection. Sort of weird. Yeah, I mean, this booklet is pretty good, but it shows mostly just, just scenes of him fighting, you know, the monster and stuff. Yeah. Most of the human characters in this movie are sort of like military guys. At least the select few. Oh, here's cool. It shows like all the um, all the Gamera movies that existed. At least you know, kind of like an overview of them. So we have the original Gamera all the way up to well, it only shows until Super Gamera, but it doesn't show the more Gamera the Brave or the other trilogy. But oh well, I think it's just to be I think it's just to be a show over overview. Awesome. And here you have your movie on Blu-ray and the behind the scenes. And now let's go to the best movie of them all, Gamera 3. I love this movie to death. It's like awesome. It's beyond describable. I really like it. I love it. So you have the movie on DVD. The only thing lackluster about this movie is sort of its poster. I'd rather have it to be have a poster similar to the uh, Gamera 1 or Gamera 2 where there's like some awesome artwork and stuff but here it's not really like that unfortunately but it doesn't matter it still looks stylish like here you have uh, Ayana uh, you know one of the central characters in the film and here we have Iris and here we have Gamera Iris is fucking awesome you have Gamera and I love this shot. Like Gamera, the design of Gamera, Gamera Three is fucking awesome. He looks. I wouldn't say he doesn't. He looks. I wouldn't say he looks evil, but he looks like he, he doesn't look friendly. But he doesn't look. Yeah, he looks a little menacing, even though his intentions aren't, you know, evil. You know, we have Giles. I think it's a hyper Giles. Here we have Iris. Iris is awesome. And you have Gamera versus Iris. Like, I know the battle between Gamera and Iris isn't as big as, you know, the one in the second film where Gamera fights Legion, but I think this one is the best for some reason. It just seems to have the more emotion to it, and it feels like you really do care for Gamera. I think in the second movie it was mainly just, you know, at explosions and at action for the sake of it. I, I wouldn't say it's pointless. It is a really good action scene. I like it. It's just in the third movie, I feel there is more emotion to it for some reason. Oh, okay, here's also some Gamera history. And here is, like, the biggest trivia you can find to Gamera movies in Germany. And this is gonna flip the, sh the shit, or oh, flip, f okay, whatever, it's gonna flip off, like, the fans and stuff. They're gonna say this is bullshit, but... And there was a Gamera movie, I forgot, I, well, it says, I don't know which one this is, I'm too lazy to read right now. Oh no, yeah, it was Gamera vs. Baragon. And here it's called Godzilla, Godzilla, der Drache aus dem Dschungel. This translates, Godzilla, 
the dragon from the jungle. What the hell? This is Gamera. This is not Godzilla. God, this is this is even this is almost as bad as what you know they did with the Godzilla movies in uh, in Germany, where they put like Frankenstein in the plot, even though Frankenstein had nothing to do with that at all. And there's also um, I don't remember what film this was. It should say somewhere over here. Um, yeah, I think it was the same movie. I'm not sure. Um, it says the movie is called Panic. Dinosaurier bedrohen die Welt. It's it's the translation would have to be obviously Panic. Dinosaurs menace the world. So yeah. And also. Here they almost got the title right. They got it, but later they fucked it up. Gamera gegen Gaius, Frankenstein's Kampf der Ungeheuer. It basically translates Godzilla versus Gaius, uh, Gamera versus Gaius. Sorry, Frankenstein's Ma Battle of uh, Ungeheuer. I don't know how you translate that, but it has something to do with like ugliness or something. I don't know. I'll probably put in annotations. And yeah. That's basically it. And these cards are kind of a nice, you know, extra to see them because I don't know if they exist still. Ah, oh, this is interesting. I didn't notice this one, but here are all these other cards. And you now it's Gamera gegen Jigar. And it says Frankenstein Dämon bedroht die Welt. So it's kind of like Gamera versus Jigar. Frankenstein's monster, no, Frankenstein's demon menaces the world. Pfft. What the hell? What does Frankenstein have to do with this? Ah, oh, yeah, here it is. I'll admit, this poster's pretty awesome. And here you have the back of it, which looks awesome. And you have the movie on Blu ray. Awesome. And to be honest, one thing that's sort of a fail on Blu-ray, and that's sort of a fail on these films, is that the climax of the first film takes place during the daylight. And in the second, last two movies, the climax takes place during night. Of course, that's not the only battle appears in the movie. Gamera, spoilers, fights against Legion in Zendai during the day. And, you know, there's some good, you know, some, some amount of footage of Iris, in, you know, during the day, so, like, I don't remember where it was, before he head to Kyoto. But most of all, the battles are in, in, at the night. Which is not a good thing, because Blu-ray quality works mostly well when it's during the day. And that is sort of like... Mm, it doesn't mean the quality of these ones are bad, it's just that... Because it's night, it wouldn't look as good as it would in daylight. Oh well, but the quality is still amazing, I love it. So yeah, I was a little nit. I nitpicked the movies a little bit, but you know they're overall, well, DVDs. They're pretty overall good, and uh, I definitely recommend getting this instead of these DVDs. Because other than the fact that these DVDs just lie that they have a trailer, these ones actually do have trailers and behind the scenes. You know, and uh, one cool thing: some of the behind the scenes, most of them are actually with subtitles. So if you like, you think you can just go on the internet and watch them there, well, you're screwed. Here they have them, they took their time to like put subtitles on these behind the scenes, which I think is awesome. And they really do care for Gamera, or at least they really did put a lot of effort into these. So yeah. So my question is, the question is, should you get these movies? Of course, on, if you live in America, you're probably gonna be screwed. Why? Well, I know, I'm, I'm aware there exists Region 1 DVDs of Gamera, but um, I don't know if they come with just English dub subtitles or something like that. There do exist, it's just that these collector's edition, of course, they're just Region 2, you can't play on Region 1, and it's just Japanese or German. Simple as that. So either you know German or you know Japanese. So yeah, so overall, yeah, pretty good. I was actually gonna sell these to someone, but I'm probably gonna keep it for collector's sake. Or maybe I'm gonna, I don't know, but I'm not gonna throw it away, cause, you know, this comparison is really important. 
DVD and collector's edition. And that's what I call a pile of gamera. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was a, a little long, but it's something more unique, you know, than what other people haven't done. I haven't seen really any videos, only one on these collector's editions. So yeah, and if you want me to do another, you know, review of, you know, sort of a DVD or something, give my thoughts on it, or maybe I want to start doing movie reviews in the future. You can just request a movie or something like that, and I'll try to do a video on it. And try to make it unique, more, you know, as unique as possible. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching, and see you later.